Hey guys, it came to my attention recently by a friend that uh, a lot of people don't know or just are unfamiliar with uh, how to texture things, uh, at least in a way that properly lights a model. So I'm going to try to show you guys that, how I do it anyway, and uh, this is mainly for Second Life, and doesn't really apply to most other games, so this is strictly a Second Life tutorial on how I do it. So we're going to open up our model here. I'm making a little crest for a hat. So we got our model here. We're going to go to the texture set settings and we got to bake it first. I uncheck ID, I uncheck average normals, and I set it to anti-aliasing eight by eight and bake. That's it. My model is a high poly, sort of. Um, I take my model in Blender and I add the bevel modifier to give it those soft edges. And then I just, uh, I put that right into Substance Painter as is like this. And then I apply it to my low poly, poly later once these textures are done. And it works just fine. So what we're really here today for is to show you how to quickly and easily texture both sides of this model. So we're going to go to base color display settings. We don't want to color in material. We want to color, we want to texture in base color. So now that we're here, the first thing we want to add is a do, 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 do. go to smart materials. I have a baked lighting gradient. This thing's killer. It's awesome. It's great. You can get it on ArtStation for 324. This guy, thank you so much. It really adds some nice lighting to the model. You actually don't need it but I like to have it on there. And then the next thing I do is uh, add a lighting filter underneath that. And we want to go to properties and find the environment map. And we want to apply a new environment map. Sometimes I can get away with the soft two ring to light both sides. But uh, that's not always the case. Usually I have to use Tomoko, which adds way better lighting to a model. So yeah, we have one side of the model lit, and now we want to add a texture. We take this steel do, and now we have the texture, and it's lit, right? And also, this gradient that I had, uh, that I purchased from that guy. It comes all colorful like this, like with the greens and stuff. I don't know why they have the white one there. You have to do it yourself. Basically just go into the layers of the gradient and set all the colors to, you just remove all the color. Like just grab it, the base color here and drag this middle bar all the way down to the bottom through the whole thing until they're all gray. And then just save that as a new smart material when you're done adjusting it. That way you can quickly slap it up top there. And I usually set it to soft light as well. You can also set it to overlay, which looks pretty nice too. But I want this object to be recolorable, so I try to keep it a little lighter. Now that we have this object textured, we want to light up both sides. A lot of models require you to light multiple sides, and that's what the trick is today. What I do is I go to File, Export Textures, and I set it to a configuration output template that I call Texture Only. And what that is, is all it is is the 2D view. So you set that as RGB. You want an RGB. 2D view, drag it in there, and then export that bad boy. Now we got this right here. And close that window real quick. And we drag it into our shelf. We set it to texture and current session only. Now we create a new layer over here. And we only want it to have color. 
color only, and then set that to lighten. We want this layer to be light. Now we take that texture that we just imported and we drag it over to base color. Now it looks exactly like it did before with or without that layer. But now that it's set to lighten, if I go down here to the environment, I can spin that light around 180 degrees to the other side of the model. And bada bing bada boom, you're done. It's good to go. Now all you gotta do is export the texture. Oop, no, we don't want to quit. <laughs> Export textures and the default. I have also been, oops, sorry. I've been exporting these textures. I only use the texture in the normal. I've been using the texture as the specular. So you just slap this texture onto the specular and it looks good. I've been having trouble with speculars lately. I, you know, it's preference based, but it looks good for me and that's good enough. My model looks look nice. I like them. I like the way it looks like with just that. So yeah, the normal and the texture, use the texture as your specular. Sometimes it works. If you know how to do better speculars than me, then just do it that way. But uh, now your model will be lit on both sides. And if you have a model that needs to be lit on four sides, you just do the same process I just did, but you just rotate to like 90 degrees and then export the texture, drag it in, put it on that same layer. And then you export that, put it in, you know, and then you just keep process. You, you just continue the process until all four sides are properly lit. And, uh, yeah. So I hope that was easy enough to follow. And like I said, you don't even really need this gradient. Uh, you can just stick to the lighting here and you can adjust um, whatever you need to. I just think it looks better with the gradient. Adds a bit more depth to the lighting. It's just, it's just better. So yeah, you should totally go get that. It's worth it. Every penny. So, uh, anyway, I will end it there because you know all the, all the tricks you need to know to texture both sides of a model properly lit. All right. That's all I got. And farewell. Have a good night.